Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing the student exploration electron configuration and this is going to be done through um, like a system. It's called Gizmo. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I have the lab right here. So we're going to be answering questions um, while doing the experiment on the computer. Now, before we begin, um, there's a few vocabulary terms that are provided that will help you kind of understand um, what to go through, and that's going to be on the separate attachment, which the professor gave us, but the vocabulary words include atomic number, atomic radius. I always butcher this guy's name, but off bonds principle, chemical form chemical family, diagonal rule, electron configuration, Hund's rule, orbitals, poly exclusion principle, period, shell, spin, and subshell. So it says before using gizmo, um, I think we have to answer these questions first. Okay, so it says Elvis Perkins, a rather shy fellow, is getting on the bus shown at the right which seat do you think we should probably, which seat do you think he would probably sit on? Mark the seat with E. Okay. I think it's pencil. So, out of all the students on the bus, there's only one seat that's not taken up by anyone. So, obviously, someone is shy. They probably won't want to sit with anyone. So, okay. It says... Martha Warren gets on the bus after Elvis. She is tired after a long day at work. When do you think she will, or where do you think she will sit? Mark the seat with an M. Okay. So obviously it would probably be the closest to the door if you've had a long day and you're tired. In your experience, do strangers getting on the bus like to sit with other people or if they're or if there is an empty seat available. So now I'm going to launch Gizmo. <clears throat> okay. Just like the passenger getting on the bus, electron orbital orbit the nucleus of atoms in particular patterns. You will discover these patterns and how electrons sometimes act like passengers boarding on the bus with the electron configuration gizmo. Okay, to begin, click on the lith, click, click that lithium, which is selected on the periodic table tab. Okay. So now it's asking how many protons are in a lithium atom. So the atomic number is equal to the number of protons as you guys know. So the number of protons is three. Now the next question says how many electrons are in the neutral lithium atom? So 
So, I mean, it's gonna be the same. So. Okay, now it says select the electron configuration tab. Click twice on the 1S box at the upper left and once in the 2S box. Observe the atom model on the right. Okay, so it says, like, to record your observations. So what I see is two electrons in the first shell and one in the second orbital of the nucleus. It says, click check. Is this electron configuration correct? Yes. Okay, so on the period, so this is for the second activity. On the periodic table, select H, hydrogen. Select the electron configuration tab and click reset. Okay, introduction. Electrons are arranged in orbitals, subshells, and shells. These levels of organization are shown by the boxes of, of the gizmo. Each box represents an orbital. The subshells are labeled with letters S, P, D, and F, and the shells are labeled with numbers. Question. How are electrons arranged in elements with an atomic number 1 through 10? <coughs> Okay, infer, okay, based on <clears throat> its atomic number, how many electrons does a hydrogen atom have? So obviously one, right, yeah. Okay, next, the, um, off. Bod's principle states that electrons occupy the lowest energy orbital. Click once in the 1s box to add an electron to the only orbital in the subshell of the first shell. Okay. Okay, what is the electron configuration of a hydrogen? This one, because it's the first atom. Arrange click. Next element to select helium. Add another electron to the 1s orbital. The arrows represent the spin on the electron. How do you know? What do you notice about the arrows? Okay, so it looks like one of the arrows is pointing up and the other one is pointing down. So I'm just going to draw what I see. Check your work. Click check. What is the electron configuration of helium? Okay, so that was right. Any electron? 